Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hello. So today we're gonna to be doing something really fun. I've been waiting for these supplies to arrive and they finally arrived. So I'm super excited. I am going to be doing an alcohol ink and resin artwork. I have got my big board, which is an aluminium board. And I'm gonna do first layer with alcohol ink and then the second layer with resin. I cannot wait to create this artwork. Okay, so you're gonna need some inks. Today I'm using the Ranger range of inks. I've not used these before, so I thought it'd be really fun to test out. Obviously, an aluminium board. This one is just from Archie Creative and I bought a glossy one. You can also make the boards yourself. Uh, you can just get aluminium board from your hardware store and then build a wooden frame around it. Uh, you're gonna need some alcohol to dilute your inks. Some epoxy resin today, I am using the Barnes resin. And then you're gonna need some pigments. So I'm gonna be using a few different kinds, but mostly I'm gonna be using the Artisu pigments. And then I'm gonna use the Resi Tint uh, white as well. I'm pretty sure I'm still a bit undecided about the colors of pigments because I need to get my alcohol base down first and then decide on what it needs resin wise and then the usual safety gear, gloves, face mask, all of that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just peel off protective coating and then just remove any of the dirt with some paper towel make sure my working surface is good I think I'm only going to use three colors because sometimes when you start to like blend out your colors you get like secondary and third colors getting created so right, so we're going to use denim to start with Gonna add a few drops. And then some alcohol. And then I think we're also gonna use, what one's this one? Aqua. And then this is called Celestial and it's a pearl. So I'm just gonna put my denim down and then I'm gonna use my hairdryer to blow it around. I might put a little bit of the aqua just over there. And then I'm just gonna like slowly repeat that. I'm gonna leave some negative space in this artwork just because I like the way the negative space artworks look. I add a little bit of pearl just here. Oh my God, I'm not liking how this pearl is turning out. It's separated and it's adding like some really weird color and shape. No, I've never used like this range before or used a pearl based one, but it's not working. So I'm just gonna wipe it off. That's the great thing about like alcohol ink and like aluminum board is you can just wipe it straight off. Just remembered I forgot to put gloves on. 
Uh, alcohol ink does stain your hands, so like wearing gloves is important. Plus it's also a chemical because it's alcohol, so there is a bit of safety. So I'm just going to cover up where the pearl was because I am not vibing that pearl at all. Might also add a drop of the gold mixative. So this works a little bit different um, to how the others work because it's gold. Any of the metallics work the same way because they're not the same as just an ink. Just sprayed a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and I'm just going to get rid of that part because I'm just not loving like the little bits that are like coming off. So anytime you want to reactivate a part even though it's dried, you can just do so and then go back in and fix that area up. So now I'm just getting my gold and I'm just going to find a few little lines and patterns and I'm just going to follow it with my gold. I actually do like, at the start I was a bit concerned about how thin um, the nib is on this but it does allow you to do sort of line work like that without having to get a paintbrush out because I was a bit concerned that you wouldn't get the ink out um, easily like flowing but it's not too bad actually for line work. Okay guys, so I've let this sit for about an hour and then I've given it a sealing spray with some of the Krylon Matte Sealer. You have to do this because otherwise if you add resin on top, it can make your um, alcohol ink bleed or change color. So just make sure you do seal it. I do recommend the Krylon Matte. Uh, you do have to be careful, some sealing sprays do contain alcohol and can like lift the resin back, not the resin, the alcohol ink back up and make it like activate again. So just be really careful about what sealing spray you use because not all are suitable for alcohol inks. I've got some clear resin here and I've added a tiny, tiny bit of the Artisu Sparkle Powder Pigment. Only a tiny bit because a little bit goes a long way. I just want a slight sparkle coming up through but not too glittery then i've got my gold pigment and this is from resi tint and then i have got my palette paladinium blue from artisu i think that's how you say it then i am using a tint and this one is the poly Sura, Sura blue uh, and that one is from barnes and then I've got the Soft Sparkle White from Artie Sue as well. I've got the majority of my board covered in my clear resin that's got the light sparkle. I'm going to give a quick torch just to pop any bubbles and to get a little bit of movement in the resin. But I'm not going to overly torch it too much. I've just done my clear coat of resin and it's got that little bit of the Artisu sparkle in it and it's looking amazing. The next step is to just use my colors, which I've got like my gold, my navy, my um, shiny blue and my sparkle white. And I'm just gonna be adding those on top following the lines that are already being created from the alcohol ink. I'm not gonna blend them out too much because I actually wanna see lines and I am very, very excited. I think this is gonna look beautiful. Just wanted to let everyone know that I do have a TikTok. Um, so please do go and follow that if you wanna kinda of see like behind the scenes stuff. I post a lot, to, oh, I'm trying to post more to TikTok of little videos from behind the scenes. And if you wanna kinda of see what's happening in my life, you can always follow me on Instagram as well. But let's get started in doing the next step in this pour.
I'm really happy with how this is looking. Um, I've just followed the lines that were already created and created some more with the colors of my resin. And I think it's looking really good. So I've just got to go around and make sure that there's like no dust and anything can make it all perfect. But other than that, I'm really happy with how it is looking. I think it's turned out amazingly. I don't know whether I should do like a few more bands coming out or whether I should leave it how it is. That's always the way with resin. You're always like, oh, maybe just a bit more. And then you're like, oh, too much. But I'm really happy with how this is looking. Originally, I did have the idea of sticking a crystal in it. Um, but I don't know if I want to anymore. I kind of like it how it is. I feel like I'll save this crystal idea for another for another artwork, but overall I'm really happy with how it's looking. Thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial. If you'd like to give it a big thumbs up, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post tutorials like this all the time. I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks stunning. Um, I can't wait for it to like dry and I can hang it up somewhere or I might put it up on my Etsy store, depending whether I can find a place in my house for it. But I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. If you think that this is a cool idea using alcohol inks and then resin on top, leave a comment below. And if you've done it before, I'd love to see your pictures or if this is does inspire you like please do tag me you can find me on instagram under sherry vegas but yeah i feel like this is such a beautiful technique and i also do have a tiktok now so please do find me on tiktok as i like to post like little behind the scenes stuff um so i keep like all of my social medias the same but different if you know what i mean so like my tiktok shows more behind the scenes my instagram shows more of my real life and my youtube obviously shows all of the art tutorials and facebook is like more keeping up to date finding out when my new workshops and new videos are going up so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me out